Alright there, ladies and gentlemen, John Sweet Pea here, bringing you the second part of Coffee Break. And today we're going to go to the second level, which I'll just skip to now. Which of course is Reservoir, with 81 monsters. Let's see what this level's like, shall we? So we've got an interesting start. Always check the starter door, you never know when that's going to come into play. Looks like we've got some armor and a shotgun on two high up wedges. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh shit! An ambush! Cunning bastards! That was, that was a bit of an evil trap right there. Ah, I'm not gonna fall for it twice though. Forget it. Honestly, I'm having a friggin' enemy right behind the switch like that. Hmm, I'm gonna try something here actually. Fucking get this health. There's a secret up here. Nope, there is not. Oh, well, that was a bit of an interesting way to start up. <laughs> Six foot from here. Got some hit scans. Need to Ooh, double kill. Yeah, that was pinky as well. Addition of the pistol. Oh, God. Circumnavigate the pinky. Around there. Oh, and hitting those guys right around the corner. Uh, I'm getting used to that. Somewhat, anyway. More shotguns and stuff to pick up here. On this, uh, we got some health. That's good. We need that. So I need a red key for that door. So while I'm progressing through the level, kill this. Oh. The pink do some infighting there. I want to some uh, questions and stuff that was raised in the last video. Oh god! How oh, he missed that shot. He got lucky, I guess. One of the things that was brought up by the Terracotta Tiger was apparently the ending theme when I completed the level may be from a game called Rise of the Triad, apparently. Um, and I think Terracotta Tiger wanted some confirmation of that. I've never played Rise of the Triad, although I know what it is. It's a build engine inspired, you know, the Duke Nukem engine inspired <coughs> first person shooter, I believe. One of its weapons were quite popular and were used in some Doom wads on occasion. So, I don't know if it is or not. If anyone can let me know if it is from that game or not, that would be awesome. Shotgun is there. So far, though, aside from that initial trap, though, we're not. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that was not a homing missile. I was just about to say, so apart from that opening trap, this level hasn't been too bad so far. Oh, so we've got a Hell Knight down there as well. Be careful. The clue to look out for there is if the rocket has a smoke trail behind it, it's a home. If not, it's a regular shot. We'll use a bit of mouse hook antics here to get the drop on this Hell Knight. And down he goes. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is bad. This could get ugly. Oh god, we have to do some really clever close range strafing there. Oh man, he even fired out two homing rockets. Evil placement there. Managed to get through. Oh yeah, and before anyone asks, I have to say I have disabled jumping for this ward because I don't think the ward is uh, designed for jumping. Mm, whole feeling about this for some reason. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a spectre! Now I didn't see him then, so I come from that upside area. Ah, I see you there, chain gunner. Down you go, mister. Pretty uh, sneaky level so far with enemy placement, even more than the last one, I'd say. Oh, whoa. I've not seen these spectres too well. Not that. Not shouldn't be this hard to spot. Huh. Yeah, I have my gamma settings too high. Hmm, need a blue key for that one. Alright, we'll come back to that room afterwards, perhaps. We need to go down the dark, dark corridor. Oh, I had a spectre. Ah, right in front of me that time. I had a feeling they were going to throw another spectre at me. It's just way too obvious, somewhat. There's another one. Hmm. Don't have a good feeling about what's going to happen when I press the switch, though. Oh, it's just an elevator. Ah, nice try. One of the chain gunners there. Use that pill to deflect them. 
odd. Seems to have unleashed a few more from the side there. I think I got a fair amount of armor. Oh shit, we got a hell right? Too hard to deal with, hopefully. Plenty of ammo to deal with him. Oh god, he got close there. Oh no, we got another one. Okay, yeah, deal with him fast. No, oh, that's not as bad as the Barons in terms of their tankiness, but, you know, they're still a threat. Hmm. I'm gonna take about six shotgun shots, those guys. He was a little tougher than most. Oh, we're on the other side of this little barricade here. And the other side of that red door, I believe. Yep, it was the other side. So we still need to find a red key, and as well as a blue key. Hmm. I wonder what's through here. Ah, blue key. Still no secrets so far in this little short map. Oh. A secret is revealed. That was a bit of an obvious one there. Always look out for odd signs on the walls. Well, I don't know if we're going to have any use for rockets though, unless we get a rocket launcher. Anyway, now we will have to go back to that room with the blue switch. Have a peek in here and get these shotgun shells on it. Oh my god! Oh shit, no! Two of these guys! Got to chain gun them a little bit. Chain gun and be very careful. It's a good thing they have a relatively high flinch rate to chain gun fire. Oh, that was evil. This map sure likes using revenants, alright. Yeah, let's see what. Alright, just activates that bridge. Oh, and also activates this. Oh, it's just what was that? Oh, I'm just in that. Hmm. There he is, though. What does that do exactly? I'm not sure what I'm actually supposed to do, per se. I still need the red key card from somewhere. Unless it altered another part of the level I'm not aware of. Hmm. Maybe it altered something further back, perhaps. Probably a clue we need to go back to the earlier part of the level, perhaps. I suspect. Oh my! And oh yes! Another two revenants! Gee! You can tell which enemy they wanted to emphasize on this map, alright. I'll do some very close circle straight from here. Oh, this is going to end up pretty bad. I'm not fancy fighting two revenants at that. Look, we see in the walls there. That wasn't a homer. Oh my god! <laughs> they should have caught this revenant swar or something. Some kind of. Just checking for a secret, and there's none to be had. Revenant Swar, some some witty name like that, I'm sure would have been fine. Anyway, um, there's also another comment made by Ah. Now, how did I forget about that already? Here's my short attention span. Oh, and what do you know? Yet more Revenants. Tend to be surprised, everyone. Oh my God! Oh, whoa! Oh, that was an evil one, right? There. That could have been. Oh shit! Oh shit! We did. No, we need to pull out right now. Oh, that was not very nice. Some we demons. The human wall of pinkies. Yeah, go on demons. Chow down on some revenants. Now kill any that try to attack me. This uh, revenant's incurring a fair bit of wrath there from the uh, pinkies, but I'll just kill him off anyway. That was an evil trap right there. Pinky sort of acted as a, a block blockade. I couldn't get past him, so I had to deal with them. Ooh, clever enemy design this level. I have to give credit. This guy knows how to make good enemy traps, all right? Uh, I think we're clear now, though. Look at the pinkies don't have, like, well, they just bumble around a bit. If they had proper AI, they would have cornered me. That could have got ugly. There's actually a hit scan back there. Or two. Just have to deal with him while dealing with the imps on the side. On there. 70 on the enemy count, but still. Ah, the barricade has lowered somewhat there. It's good. Just very careful though. Oh! There's a chain gunner in the darkness, such I almost caught me out. Anyway, uh, another comment that I received on the previous video was from Drowken, and he brought up the issue of Brutal Doom again. Which has been brought up a couple of times during my last uh, Let's Play of Needy in Zaydun. Seems to be one that some of you want to see. Alright, Red Key pick it with no problems. It's good. Hmm, still no cover. Oh, wow! 
Oh, I am so lucky I was intercepted there a little bit. I'm going to chain gun this guy down. Don't fancy that range. No survey. That one didn't work quite so well, methinks. I was well too better positioned, but could have caught some people off guard, I guess. So, I was basically asked to... He's a rocket launcher. Why not? The level's almost over. I don't want to kill myself with a rocket launcher, fine. But sure. Take that, Cacodemon. Hmm. Looks like there's one more room left, however. But I was basically asked to play Brutal Doom by Draken, and uh, my response to that is... For this one, in particular. My response to all this Brutal Doom comment, since I don't think I really addressed it last time, and that's the level over with, um, is that I may play Brutal Doom at some point, but since Brutal Doom is not really an ex a wad of its own, it's kind of like a, a sort of a... It changes the gameplay, but not the maps. I may tackle... Um, Oh, and I think I found the second secret. Alright, well, that concludes that business. Time to leave. I will probably play Brutal Doom at some point with um Ultimate Doom. Maybe I'll maybe after this one. Anyway, time to wrap up. And like the previous level, that is a wrap. All the kills, all the items, and all the secrets. So yes, I may tackle Brutal Doom after I complete Coffee Break. I'll think about it since it's brought up a few times. And again, like I said at the beginning of this, this apparently is music from Rise of the Triad, according to Terracotta Tiger. This is music you're listening to right now. But he's not 100% sure. Hmm. Anyway, it seems I took 11 minutes 20 to complete with a... And those part times are for this WOD specifically, by the way. So it seems that this one is 4 minutes part time. Hmm. Alright, so let's see what's up for next time then. So we're going to Outpost next. Ooh, three figure monster count for next time. This could be interesting. Alright, so that's Reservoir. That was a fun little level. I like that. Pretty clever enemy design. A few nasty traps and uh, kudos. I was actually a bit more impressed with that one than I was with the last level. Anyway, um. Yeah, so I'll catch you all next time for Outpost. Uh, just to end off the video on a bit of a personal note, um, my new job starts tomorrow. Uh, for those who care, I've got a new job starting tomorrow. I'm doing some training for four days, and then it's full-time work, 40 hours a week. So the YouTube updates may be a little sporadic from now on, but I will try my best to update as much as possible but don't be surprised if it's like you may have to wait a week for the next part or something but i will try my best to keep updating youtube stuff anyway catch you all next time for map three let's see if it can outdo reservoir till then farewell and leave any comments below